Hey guys, Carla here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be opening up my budget for March and so we're gonna do a lot of things. So grab some coffee or grab your own budget book and let's budget together. If this is the first video you're watching of me, my name is Carla. I am a sticker budgeter. I also have a vlogging channel that I vlog most of my life as a mom as well as a small business owner so if you want to check that out that is going to be in the description down below and if you're interested in anything that i use i have linked most of the stuff that i use in the description down below as well they are affiliate links so i do get a small commission if you do buy off from my, my amazon storefront and my sticker shop is also linked down below so the stickers that you will see that i put down here are from my shop as well as some trackers and savings challenges in my binders. I thought I'd make a small introduction since it is the beginning of the month, just in case this is the first video you're watching of me. So here is my budget notebook. I got it from Erin Condren. So I am, you know, I have my stickers saved that I think I would use here. So I have them saved up here with some extra washies. So this is my March budget. Some of you guys have bought this already. A lot of you guys actually. I've released this a couple of months ago. So I wanted you guys to get ready for that. And these are the kits that I use myself. I don't use everything that I sell because I found a system that works for me. And I do have a mock budget here on the side that I will be constantly looking at. I also have some grilled cheese. My sister made me some grilled cheese for lunch. So I'm gonna be snacking on that because I haven't had any snack, but my husband took my baby out so I can film. So this is February, we're past February. So we're gonna take this off and we're gonna create our spread for March. So I decided to put the monthly calendar here. I usually don't because I wanted kind of like a cohesive look to my budget. And I was thinking about doing weekly check-ins, but I was kind of looking at the schedule and seeing what I can do. I don't know when I'll be able to start it because I'm trying to make and rush Patreon right now because I do have a sticker club if you're interested and I usually have it on my coffee But payments have been kind of iffy Even for me when I subscribed to someone else my payment didn't go through for February But it went through for March, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna switch to patreon So if you are one of my coffee members, I will um, Cancel all the memberships on the last day of March and you can resubscribe on my patreon and I will make a public announcement there. I'm trying to rush that to start in April. So that's why I might I might not commit to a weekly check-in for March because I'm trying to rush that. And I also have some new trackers that I'm trying to do. So I'm just trying not to overwhelm myself. But you always start with a clear, like, lined paper with the Erin Condren. So I'm going to start with the left side and we're going to work ourselves up. Um, I always kind of go back and forth between what last month would look like to this month and you also might see my head pop up here because if I don't put my face too close to the notebook I usually make a mistake and even then like even when it's right here it has to be right here like my head is usually right here my face and the paper is like this because I am very nearsighted but I'm trying not to like block the camera but there are a lot of adjustments to my budget this time around because I am adding some stuff and you know we're deciding if we should even add them my husband and i made like a financial talk with each other yesterday and i told him like we need to make some cuts so he gave me like a little sheet of some stuff that we need to cut but i already made my mock for march so i'm still gonna put these down like how i did it on my mock and then i'll just update you guys throughout the month if this are changes that we need to do like this is his writing so he thinks we need to take out the haircut for him because he can cut his own hair according to him it looks better when somebody else does it but he is willing to make that sacrifice as well as he said he can sacrifice $15 off of his allowance every week. I'm still not going to do that for right now because we're still going to see. And he said we need to probably take out storage. So the stuff that we have in storage, he said either we get rid of it and sell it or we put it in his parents' house, like a little corner there, so we can try to like minimize it and just put it in that corner to save us that $80. So he's been really doing good. Like I think this is a really good list of what we need to cut down. And 
like he's saying that cash envelopes like the sinking funds and challenges would be cut to 50% off which I agree with so I'm probably gonna do that I'm probably gonna put five dollars every time in my sinking funds again when you guys see the next paycheck that might not happen yet like none of this probably will apply quite yet because we're still thinking about it the challenges will not change like I'm still gonna put fifty dollars every week we'll try every week in my $50 savings challenge but the sinking funds I do agree that maybe we can cut that in half so those are the changes we're trying to think about and we're talking about so we're still kind of in the, the midst of that and we're trying to clean up the section that we need to clean up at his parents' house so we can put our storage stuff there and I'm also going to grab some bins because our stuff is currently in boxes but it's kind of like on the outside so if it rains like there's like a roof on it so if it rains it might get rained on or the humidity so I'm going to put them in like plastic bins from Walmart which were like six dollars so I'm trying to think about maybe getting that today and cleaning up the space there so we can take out our stuff in storage. I took a break and I ate my grilled cheese so I'm done because I was shaky but you're gonna hear some background noises okay we're, we're already accustomed to that but I'm gonna use my washi right here I'm gonna use this one for the debt tracker I think it's very important that you talk to your you know significant other or your spouse about certain things especially with a budget and if you share your budget together I think it's very important that you guys are on the same page like have monthly meetings that's what I've learned that it really does help so you're both on the same page and the other person that is not budgeting is familiar with how everything's set up like how far are you with the goals that you've set up as well as if you're kind of on the negatives so I was talking to my husband like um, we're not completely in the negatives but we're not also saving anything and we still need to make cuts and also do other things and we're also possibly thinking about maybe getting a part-time for me to kind of help us finish our goals and maybe you know I just need to work harder with my business but you know it's not completely out of the question to find a part-time because I'm not completely against it and I always am open to you know work harder for our family but as you guys know I prefer staying at home with my baby right now but I have had the best time with her already like I've had most of the time that I could ever ask for already so I think I'm really open to a part-time for you know to help with our budget but I'm listing down the debts that I have still here well my husband and I's debt but I don't have the numbers yet as you guys know I don't have the numbers in the beginning of the month I get them about in the middle like 6th through the 15th so I don't have the numbers here so I have student loan I have Candons and I have Capital One which is what we're working on right now. I just made an extra payment to it, which was the 170 that we were able to save for that snowball in February. If you're also familiar with my budgeting, like we are on a debt-free journey, but I also don't go as, you know, ham with it as other people do. I always get pretty defensive when it comes to it because a lot of people prefer to go really crazy on the debt like paying off debt and I get that I think that was the mindset that I had back in 2019 before the you know craziness going on but now it just seems like I want to be safe and have a good chunk of savings for us to fall on if we need to like previously we had to pay for 1300 to car maintenance because my husband's car was shaking and we really needed that money and so I didn't have that 1300 just laying around. I had it in different envelopes that we had. I had $300 in our car maintenance and then I also had a thousand, well 1800 in our savings challenges, our $50 savings challenge. It was something that I had to decide on and make sacrifices for with what we were saving for because my $50 savings challenge, as you guys know, is for going home to the Philippines and it just seems like the Philippines is not going to happen this year still because of the seaward and we you know had to take money out of that sinking funds if we still had five thousand dollars in there I don't think we'll go home this year either way because like I said the seaward 
the quarantine time when you get there is still 10 days like it was before and i just don't have that 10 days to waste the money that we you know have but i don't have the, a job to kind of ask permission to have the days off but i still have to make the money and my husband does have a job so he has to make that money so 10 days of quarantine and then the vacation time there and then the traveling time it's just a lot of time that is kind of not i guess not wasted because i still get to see my family but the money will kind of be wasted sitting there for 10 days quarantining so hopefully next year either shorter quarantine time or there's no quarantine at all would be great and there's already a lot of restrictions there already because they are very strict over there from what i've seen and what i've heard from my family i think they are getting to a point where they're not so strict anymore but we will definitely see but i already know that philippines is just not in our cards for this year which is kind of sad but it kind of works out because we won't have enough money in there anyways to go home but i know my family understands and they miss me a lot but we just have to do what we can but here i'm listing down my sinking funds category here and what we have inside like the starting balance i'm putting it in purple because that's the color of my sinking funds binder so it just helps me visualize it so I have photos, and then I have birthday for Mia's birthday. And then my challenges, I put them in green because I just think challenges would be green. I don't know. It's just a different color to, again, help me visualize things. So there's a dollar, one dollar savings challenge, then the five dollars, and the fifty. So when my money wasn't adding up with my last video, you guys caught it and I actually didn't catch it at all until somebody said it. That my $50 savings challenge, instead of putting a thousand, I put a hundred and that's why I felt like $4,000 savings down to $2,000 didn't make sense was because I forgot an extra zero and that's because I really can't see. So let me put down the numbers of our starting balance in each category. So Mia has 1060 in her savings. And then our medical has 190. Gifts has 90. Christmas has 130. And family time has $80. Car maintenance has 30. Photos has 130. And Mia's birthday has 100. So our sinking funds are going to be slower if we start implementing the $5 every week instead of $10 per category. That is okay because if we happen to save up more towards the end, we can just like the photos, that's already $130 in there. And if we save up more, then we can just complete the sinking funds if we wanted to. So that might happen. Like you might not see me like gradually growing it i can just dump money in there and then that's done because we are saving more and we are stricter in our cushion like it's been a week since we touched our cushion since i started being strict on it so we're really doing so good on that and i'm so proud of us and we've been only eating out when we have the money in our sinking fund spider instead of using the cushion so i'm really really proud of our progress and i hope it continues on because I constantly have to tell my husband like we have to be each other's um, kind of person that's saying no like we have to be each other's I guess police when it comes to like using the cushion because we're really comfortable at using it when we want to just eat out and also now that we've kind of divided down the three things that was eating our budget our cushion um, now that we've kind of addressed what they were and kind of see if we can budget for it or not um, we kind of had to make the decisions about like hey what can we cut and what can't we cut and what can we decrease our things on especially you know budgeting is just a kind of a I guess moment to moment basis like it's not permanent like once you do something for your budget it's never permanent you can always change it depending on your situation and that's what I I guess didn't wrap my head around it like i wanted to grow my sinking funds yet i spend our money on our cushion 
and our income really wasn't increasing it actually decreased a lot especially when we put insurance for the three of us that kind of made us really on the negatives was that was 150 on insurance every week so what we're gonna do when the insurance comes back up is I think we're gonna outsource insurances so if you have any idea on where we can find good insurance like I know you can it you don't have to have the jobs insurance but if you have any good ideas especially around in Georgia area please please let me know that would be a great help for um, my family and I because 150 a week is ridiculous that's $600 every month and you know even more if we have five paychecks because my it gets taken out every week so that's a lot of money that's 750 a month this month so it's just ridiculous so we're really trying to think about that and like what we can cut on that one but here i'm putting five paychecks because we do have five paychecks this month and then i'm adding my sister's contribution for rent and then I'm also adding my coffee or my sticker club I'm gonna put sticker club because I'm transitioning to patreon so we have a lot of sources of income here so my YouTube isn't really reliable right now it's fluctuating because I had to transition to two well I didn't have to but I did I transitioned into two channels instead of one and dividing the two contents so as you can see, there's a lot of space taken up here and not a lot of space down here. Usually I have a lot of space down here. So I also added more expenses. So I'm not going to have this bottom part right here. That's okay. I don't really need it. So I'm just going to have the fixed and the variable expenses is what I'm going to do. Fixed and variable So like I said, what my husband and I talked about is not really going to be set in stone yet. I'm going to update you guys as I do my cash stuffings if it's really going to happen. But for right now, I'm going to pretend like we didn't talk. Like I'm going to do my mock budget before we talked just to kind of have those spaces open if we ever change our mind. But I think those are really great ideas and we might, we're definitely going to like 90% going to do it. I just have to like make sure that we're going to be okay. For our fixed expenses, we will have debt and we have phone right here and we have insurance, we have gas, Wi-Fi, subscriptions. Got rent here and electric. I'm still gonna put storage here, even though we might take that off. We most definitely will take that off. Diaper that can't be taken off because Mia needs diapers, and I don't want to potty train her until she's like two, two and a half. I think two, two and a half is really good. I'm gonna buy her a potty training um, little toilet for her and I'm just gonna have it around so she knows what it is she might think it's a toy but just so she knows that it's there and she likes to be shown the purpose of things like if I introduce her a new toy she likes to be shown how to work it and then once she is you know she starts doing what how, how I'm doing it so I think she's really smart in that way. I hope, you know, it works out. And if you're interested in how our potty training will work or how it's going, I might update you guys on our on my vlogging channel. But here I'm just listing down my variable expenses. I have miscellaneous, we have challenges. And I'm actually adding anniversary here. I don't know if you guys have been here for that long, but last year I saved up like a thousand dollars. In our anniversary because it was our first year of being married we've been together since like 2015 but it's our first year of getting married so we kind of went a little bit crazy and went to a hotel and just had a good night and drank some and then went to a steakhouse to a really expensive steakhouse so that's what we did 
but this year we're just having dinner kind of like how we had it for valentine's that was really special already even with mia there like that was really special for us so i think that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna have dinner and celebrate our two years of being together i think it's still really special um yeah let me do the green so here i put like income debt and savings just the monthly highlight so i'll put income debt and savings so i'll line everything up later but let me fill out the next part of here which is like the date and the budgeted amount so three three our budget every week is we make $700 together because that's $400 from his income and $300 from my sticker shop. And then hopefully I can continue to give that much every week. I don't know. Some some weeks it's kind of looking kind of rough because I know a lot of you guys have bills too, especially in the beginning of the month. So not a lot of people are buying from the shop, which I really get. It's just some weeks are kind of looking rough for me. But yeah, three, three would be $700 and then three, ten another 700 and then 317 700 324 and then 331 all of these the rest is 331 and then this is 700 400 for my sister and then 235 is for my sticker club is what I budgeted for for the new stuff that we are budgeting for. So we have 4,135 as our income. And that's a lot because there's five weeks. Usually there's only four. We usually don't hit that 4,000 mark. For debt, our minimum payments right now are 179, which is crazy because I remember when I first started budgeting, like after I had my baby, it was 500 and something for just minimum payments and now we're at 179 but of course my minimum there does not include my student loans yet because i won't have to pay for minimums till june i think june yes and so it's not there yet and i pay like 70 dollars for my student loans so just add that in there but that's how it was well i guess at that time i wasn't paying for student loans either but it was still 560 so that's still a really good track record and then phone is 160 and insurance is 111 this actually lowered to 106 but i'm still gonna keep it at 111 and we'll figure out why it went down gas is 100 still wi-fi is 120 Subscriptions is 28. We're also trying to think about maybe cutting down on the Netflix because Netflix is pretty expensive because we're paying $20 for Netflix because we have multiple channels. So we're probably just going to cancel it. We're thinking about it. Rent is 907. Electric is 160. And storage is $80. So we'll be able to save that. Diaper is $90, and why diaper is that much, I also include wipes there. Like, we buy a box of wipes. Um, my sister gives me a little bit of money for that, and she gives me money for food to kind of balance that out because we both use the wipes, so it's for two toddlers. And then haircut is 65 So the total of that is $2,000. All right, and then for my variable... Food is 500 because there is five weeks, like I said. Allowance is 450. Sinking funds is 400, so this can be cut in half. If you know, if I take out half of the sinking funds, so that would be like 200 dollars. If we do that, if we start doing it, we'll see. And then miscellaneous is 50. Challenges I don't budget for. And then anniversary so a hundred. So that's fifteen hundred dollars for variable expenses. And then I will line everything up later on, and also I will do the highlights later on. We're gonna move on to the next page, which is my expenses, my savings challenge, and my sinking funds layout. 
And what that looks like is, because you guys already saw the sinking funds earlier, but that looks like this. So this is just a breakdown of my expenses, savings challenge, and sinking funds every paycheck. So last month we had four paychecks, so we have four columns here. And now we're going to have five, and I usually write that down in pencil, like the, the amounts per column. But I'm not going to do that with you guys, I do that after the video, just so I can see it myself. But let me find my expenses and sinking funds. So we have a lot of stickers here. We've got a lot going on. So let me just use the flowers. Even though they're not the same flowers, that is okay. Um, like the floral thin washing. And I start off with the expenses because it's one of the most categories that I have. And this one is the longest before it used to be longer with all of my debt categories here i still write down student loans here even though i don't pay the minimum yet just in case you guys already know just in case that i have to pay for it so here i have five categories or i have five columns one through five right here and then i list down all of my categories here i do have a cheat sheet so i will be looking here so i have rent I have electric, I have my husband's phone, so I put T phone, I have Candence which is my credit card, and then I have student loan, I have Wi-Fi, K phone, and then I have insurance. This is my husband's car insurance, as well as our renter's insurance. And then Capital One is my husband's credit card. And I'm so glad I don't have to add Firestone here because of the whole car incidents. Because we were, you know, we were thinking about it. We were like thinking about it for a second that it would just be easier to use the credit card in our Firestone card. But we didn't. So subscriptions is here. gas I have storage there's haircut I'm still gonna write it here even though we're thinking about taking it off so diaper and then we have food and then the boss allowance and then my allowance Mia miscellaneous debt and emergency fund so these two there's no budget there that's gonna be blank oh an anniversary because that's a one-time thing but i'm still gonna put it there just so it's recorded and it's not a sinking funds it could have been like i could have been saving like a little bit of amount here and there for it but i decided not to and just kind of have it like what we did with the valentines because that worked out pretty well and without the stress of thinning out our budget even though we thinned out our budget this time around, but thankfully we have five paychecks. So I just lined those up and then I put the numbers down here in pencil and once the paycheck comes, that's when I'll write it down in pen. So we're going to move on to our savings challenge, which is also divided up into five paychecks. And all of these stickers I use, I know I've already mentioned it, but if you are so curious, I get it from my shop, which is linked down below. I think it's the first link there because of course if no one is going to advertise i will advertise myself you gotta be your own advocate when it comes to these things but savings challenge here we go and it's a lot of greens for march but i think it works out because it's all florally and still spring but as you guys know i have three savings challenge I usually only budget for the $50 savings challenge, but if we have any loose ones or fives, I put it here. When it comes to like being done with dividing up our paychecks and there's like an extra dollar, I'll just put that into my savings challenge. So we're gonna cut that out. And the last thing we have here for this page is the sinking funds. We were even thinking about just 
deleting the sinking funds all of it in general but it does help out in the long run but we were thinking maybe instead of having small little sinking funds or savings everywhere we'll have that one big one but who's to say like maybe just a little bit of savings there and a little bit of savings in our savings would help us we'll try it out and if if it's better not to have a sinking funds i'm totally not opposed to not having it and just having a big lump sum in our savings is also good and the reason why like i'm thinking heavily on the savings is because things are going wrong everywhere and it makes your brain kind of panic like i'm not gonna go buy like million toilet paper but i'm just saying it's good to have that money on the side and it's not just around the world just our health we're getting older we have a baby and we still don't have our own home it's just a lot of things that we're thinking about and it was good to have savings and we've lowered our minimum payments to a hundred and something so that's already like a lot of improvement that we never thought we could do and i know i'm very chatty in this but i'm just having the freedom to talk to you guys about my my thoughts on things and you know my budget is always different i know some people hate that when i say it, but it really is and i know you guys know that but i just have to remind everyone that you don't have to necessarily copy someone and we can't like all be the same in our budget because we're all in different situations we're all in our own little bubble of our problems and our finances and our goals so whatever works for you my only thing is i like sharing and i usually overshare i feel like and that kind of bites me in the butt sometimes but this is something i've always had and i always like sharing with you guys especially the ones who are just very uplifting and just very encouraging it does make a difference a whole lot of difference in my attitude towards my budget and also my channel like sometimes negative thoughts does get to me and like i don't want to do this at all but with one negative comment i get like a hundred positive ones so i should just look at the positive ones and just be grateful and share keep sharing i think and we've done so many things since i started sharing my budget we've improved so much we were held accountable by you guys we've been disciplined even though sometimes we haven't been um you still like all of you guys still welcome us into this community so that is something i love about this that's what that looks like for right now without the lines so we're gonna move on to the paychecks one through five so five will kind of ease into here for a bit and i'm gonna start my spending tracker here spending tracker here and spending tracker here and the reason i'm just talking about it right now is because i'm gonna speed through this because it's just a repetitive thing of just putting down stickers of the same thing over and over but what that's gonna look like is this like paychecks one through four is right here but five would be like right here and then the spending tracker will be right here so that's what that looks like and i will be right back so i'm done finally lining everything up and doing the highlights and everything so we're gonna start from the beginning and i'm gonna show you guys the finished look of everything so this is the calendar. I usually don't do the calendar as I told you guys, but that's what that looks like. And then our debt tracker at the left, sinking funds with the matching colors. And then our March budget, very long line of fixed expenses. And also a lot of, you know, paychecks coming in, hopefully. And then we have our expenses page right here, our savings challenge and sinking funds on the bottom. Our paycheck one, two, three, four, and five, and then spending tracker here and spending tracker up here. So I didn't do one right here just because I don't think we'll hopefully not. I'm hopefully not gonna have to use that third page for spending tracker because I'm tracking my cushion. That's what it's here for. So I'm trying to see what we're spending on on our cushion still. So that's why I'm keeping track of it because when I started doing that in January, it showed me what we were constantly spending money on that we could not replace with any of our sinking funds or our money that was already in cash envelopes. So that's how I got the numbers for the diapers, the storage room, and the haircut. So hopefully nothing else 
pops up and we can keep our cushion and our savings growing as well as paying off debt and minimizing our spending but that is it guys thank you so so much for watching and for sticking it through the end i appreciate you guys so so much and I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below how your budget is going in for March. Like, are you guys trying to be more strict or spending less or you guys are actually in the green for March, which we can celebrate small things like that. So I will see you guys on my next video, which is going to be my paycheck one cash envelope stuffing. And thank you guys so, so much. I especially want to thank my sticker club members. I'm switching to Patreon definitely in April, so I will make that announcement there. I will let you guys go. Bye!